a lot of focus sometimes goes into one of those stakeholders, but not both the end users. Perfect example. So what are a couple key factors for success in the digital health industry or digital healthcare industry, healthcare innovation, technology, whatever you, whatever you want to call it? One of the big ones that I've seen over time with my work with clients in this space with go-to-market strategy and positioning and all that is not so much about whether the product works, whether it's valuable. I mean, those things are important. It needs to be a valuable working product. That's kind of like baseline, right? That's like the, the, the baseline level for entry. One thing that's kind of overlooked is understanding every single end user, because in healthcare, you do have payers, providers, and patients, sometimes policymakers, but for the most part, those are the three stakeholders that are, that are going to be interacting with the product. A lot of focus sometimes goes into one of those stakeholders, but not both the end user. Perfect example is something that's going to be used in a clinic, and there's a lot of input put on decreasing barriers and friction for patient use, for patient adoption. And maybe there isn't a lot of effort or thought put into clinicians and the, the clinical workflows and how this, this product or the service is going to fit into the clinical operations of this organization or vice versa. The other thing happens, a lot of input gets or a lot of effort gets put into figuring out how this is going to work in the workflows, how it's going to integrate into the systems, how clinicians are going to use it seamlessly, and then not a lot of thought is put on the patient end user experience. So there are two main end users in healthcare. It's healthcare technology. Those are the patients and the providers. And you need to make sure that you're, you're addressing both of those with your product design and implementation.